Beautiful one. Oh yeah. In today's episode, we're gonna take you to a stunning river mouth on the South Island of New Zealand. It's gonna be fishing for kawaii at its best. Try once more. What's that called here, the name? Waitaki River Mouth. Waitangi Weekend, Waitaki River Mouth. Kawai are running at the moment. Even salmon. And salmon. This is the sea lions over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a sea lion too. Most people are fishing there by the mouth. We must have just caught them. A lot of people having fun here. It's good. Joke time. All right, Haitian, tell us a fishing joke. Why did we go to Waitaki River for <laughs> Okay. Why did we go to Waitaki River Mouth for fishing? We came here in the evening to check out the stunning fishing spot because we've never been here before. Pretty nice spot, the Waitaki. What? Waitaki? Waitaki River Mouth. Just a little bit north of Omaru. We were actually not even planning to go fishing. We were just stopping by in Omaru on our way up to Twizel just to stock up on a few food supplies. Thought we'd just go for a quick walk here. And then we saw that there are just so many kawai frames and heads in the water and so many people fishing. So there's a big run of kawai at the moment. Oh, Haitians, go on. Ooh. Still on? Oh, Haitians got one. Haitians on. All right, Asian. Yes. See if we can get them. They're, they're pretty strong, oh, these fish. If they don't feel like that, I... should I bring, hide them? Did like they bring the reel? No, like so, don't hide it too much. It's gonna break. Then reel down. Then put it two about you. Yeah, that's how you fight the fish. I just don't want to do to this guy. Yeah. So you pull it two words here, there it is. Now wait, wait, yeah. It's, these are pretty strong because they got a lot of cone that they can work with, but I'm bring them in. Why are you standing so weird? <laughs> you pull the rod up normally, not down. You, you would think Asian never caught a fish before when you see her, but actually she's caught a lot of fish before. Alright. This cowboy definitely put up a good fight on our light soft baiting gear. A bit of an unexpected catch on the first cast. How's that for a quick evening session, eh? Well, it's so powerful this day and so wet. I was just thinking really strange, right? I couldn't help. The body is just putting me up. I can't see the hook, I want to get the hook out. Thanks for the fight, you were so powerful. Hello. For too long. So the body. It's been quite some time he doesn't move. For some reason we could not revive this fish. You guys want to know why? Right? Yeah. You have to we get have the to blood out yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get the oh, blood out yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. you're welcome. I don't know why we couldn't get him uh, to swim off. Mm, I think he's done too much. So I think that's the regular size of this kawaii here. Here another big base here. We gave away the fish, but they didn't want to kill the fish. So Mark helped them to kill the fish now. This morning we decided to have another quick look around here at the Waitaki. The Waitaki river mouth. See how busy it is this morning. It's actually really busy. 
everyone is fishing out at the mouth. Check this out over there. Tons of people there. Looks like a huge tour bus came with a whole bunch of fishermen here. Everyone likes to fish there at the mouth, but it's a little bit too busy. So we might just fish here where we fished yesterday. What do you think? With the old Grim Reaper here that caught us a nice garway last night. I don't seem to really fish here. Yeah, for some reason people don't bleed the fish. They pull them out and put them in a bucket. Guys, that's a little bit disgusting behavior. The least thing you can do is, when you catch a fish, kill it. And with a car, why at least bleed it as well? Just don't chuck it in a bucket. What kind of disgusting behavior is that? I mean, you gotta show a little bit of respect to the fish, right? Our Haitian was on already. Grim Reaper Lua is doing really well, eh? Ooh. If you want to get yourself a few Grim Reaper lures, then check out the link in the description, guys. Oh, really? I think it's a secret if I can get I can Oh yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's okay, we, we can yeah. we can handle him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Asian, hey. Asian's got the Shake fish again. Shaky, he's catching this fish. <laughs> They're huge, right? <laughs> first, I had already bite. First cast, but couldn't hook. Well, that was a pretty good start to the right. morning. Pretty much the second cast, and the fish was on. The Waitaki river mouth is just such a stunning fishing spot down on the South Island and it's also quite popular for salmon fishing. In fact, someone told us the evening before that he caught a salmon, but yeah, it's pretty tough work catching them. Yeah, much easier to catch those kawaii. The Waitaki river is a very long river and it starts all the way up in the Mackenzie country uh, at uh, Lake Benmore and it's also a very good venue for trout fishing. I'm quite keen to come back here and target some sea run brown trout in spring. That would be awesome. This time we decided to keep the fish. In my opinion, Kawai make excellent eating. Asian decided to try a salmon lure for a change. But before I even finish the filleting, the smaller one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and again. Huge one. Didn't even get the film so quickly. Oh, you put the Grim Reaper back on. Yeah. The Grim Reaper is definitely catching. Guys, second catch today. The huge guy. <laughs> Bye buddy, thanks for buying. <laughs> that was quick. Gold. Film Reaper doing the damage today. Keeping the backbone in the head and wings because recently we figured out that the head makes really good fish stock. Just get all the blood out, that's the main thing. Yeah. Without and, waste. And throw all this stuff away, that is really good. This guy. This boat is doing really here. Why do they do it for, right? This 
guy suddenly decided that our fishing spot looks better than his. We lost our sight. <laughs> I needed to give him a little nudge in the right direction here. <laughs> Mark asked him to me. <laughs> but admittedly, the neighbor's spot always looks a little bit better, right? That Grim Reaper lure is absolutely magic. It just, it's just car I can't resist that lure. After one cast, BIM! You saw how I pulled up? Now it's finally my turn to catch one as well. You just walk up, walk up. <laughs> it's too heavy. Yeah! Great catch, Mark. Did you see that when I tried to pull the fish on land, the lure came loose and almost hit Haitian in the face? The quite probably better idea to use a landing net. Yay! Beautiful one. Lucky one. Another nice one. Mm, he was really confused, right? Ah! Oh. Shoot up like a little torpedo. Yeah. Almost. Almost hooked Haitian with the Grim Reaper. I know. Pulling it out of its mouth. It was actually hooked only on one of the trebles this time. They seem to be like the only one side of the hook always, no? Um, no, the previous ones that were hooked really good on two hooks at least. So this one was just one, one treble. Then so. they have to open mouth really big for grab these three, three treble hooks, yeah? Uh, yeah. And by the way, guys, uh, we are at the right at the best fishing times. So this morning we just waited. The best fishing times, they started from 9 to 11, coinciding with the incoming tide. And we didn't bother getting up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m., crazy times, you know. We just came here at the bite times and just been catching carway after carway. So that's why you should check out fishingreminder.com so you don't waste your time all day fishing during the wrong times, right? You just wanna come, have two hours fun, and then be done. Best by time guys, lots of people gathering here to catch a fish for feed and fun. Now it's our neighbor's turn. Mm. It's his first catch today. You need a net? He's been here since 6 a.m. in the morning, but he hasn't been using Grim Reaper lures and forgot to check fishing reminder for bite times. Yeah, this is still there. <laughs> One's like here. Oh, he got the line tangled with the neighbors. Uh oh. Mark doesn't do the job properly, right? Oh, I'm hooked on this. Oh, yes! We have fish and a line. Really? Angus is just using a super light trout fishing outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, super light. Then use the net to grab it, right, Ma? The lighter the tackle is you use, the more fun you actually have catching those car away. Most fish caught here are of similar size. This format or this format? Both, both. Yeah, how good is that? Everyone is catching some nice car while here at the mouth. Action is on. Angus got one. The guys behind me has been catching a few car while. I'm casting those Grim Reaper lures with my favorite Berkeley drop shot rod for soft baiting and my Penn Spin Fisher 2500 reel. I love this combo. Day. Bite time's over. over. And yet it's getting really busy right now. Check this out. So many people. We talked to someone yesterday in the evening. He reckons there were about 700 fish caught yesterday. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a lot. 
Okay, let's go. Burn, bloody hell. Well, today we gonna eat my favorite kawaii dish. I showed you that in a video before. This is a German style fried and then pickled kawaii called Brathering. This has been sitting in the fridge for four days now and it's absolutely delicious on a roll with a little bit of butter. It's got onion in there, it's got chili in there, vinegar in there, malt vinegar, sugar, salt and all the good stuff and pickling spices. Some greens to add on to. Asian made some greens to add on as a Korean side dish. Kale. Cooked kale with the garlic and salt and pepper. So after Four. this exciting fishing at the Waitaki River mouth this morning, we're having a quick lunch now and then we're gonna head off to the lakes, Lake Evinmore. Let's try this pickled kawaii. You should do, give it an, a name. Give this your name, pickled kawaii. Yeah, it has a name, it's called Brat Herring. No, because it's not herring. <laughs> Well, it's called bright kawaii then. Maybe it's a shocking kawaii because it's sweet and sour. Mmm, I love onions here. I'm putting this pickle. So I'll show you how we eat that in Germany, the traditional way. Of course, you eat this on some roll or bread. Brötchen. We call it Brötchen in Germany, exactly. So we just bought some Brötchen for $17. <laughs> Not quite. Um, these ones here rolls, burned them a little bit already. I also bought some sausage rolls and the whole thing cost us $17 here from Omaru. So, quite expensive. We got ourselves the roll here. Warmed up in the oven. Toasted a little bit. And then, put the butter on the roll. And yeah, check out this nice kawaii. A bit of onion here. The trick with that is to fry it very crispy. If you haven't seen the recipe, then check it out. We got a video about that up there. So I will link that up. Okay, so that's how we do that in Germany. We just eat a kawaii like that. In Germany, we of course, we don't eat kawaii because you don't get them there. We eat herring, which almost tastes the same. Mmm. That's such a good way to preserve kawaii as well. Because you can't keep kawaii for long in the fridge, right? But if you do it this way, slightly pickled, you can keep it for up to two weeks in the fridge. And which just keeps getting better as time progresses. Hmm. So now let's see how a Haitian eats that okay. in a non-German way. So this is the sesame dressing. I love it, Japanese sesame dressing. I pull it over instead of a butter. Tasty. And of course, nice pieces of kawaii. I love these onions. That's my favorite of this dish actually. And then I will add some greens. Kales that I cooked with the garlic and Salt and pepper, a little bit of a punch to it. Three lots of sauce. Mmm, better than German way. <laughs> Very good. Try this guys and tell us which one is better. Asian ruining the German brat herring dish but it looks quite yummy. Yeah I might try one like that as well. Okay so now we're done here. Now we're heading off to Lake Evinmore. Benmore. Lake Benmore actually. Joke time. All right Haitian tell us a fishing joke. Why did we go to Waitaki River for? Because 
fishing is fantastic there. All right, that was our fishing joke. What do you guys reckon? Nice joke.